All right, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Please rise for the flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Uh, first, I want to welcome everyone for coming this evening. This is a special evening. Uh, this is a, a uh, program that we've held in the Borough of Rodney since I found out since 1967. Uh, the first class will be sending us a picture, so I will get that. They're 68 years old right now, so uh, wow. yeah, I'm going to get that phone. So thank you all for being here this evening. Um, we have a little bit of business, and then we're going to turn it over to the uh, new mayor, youth mayor, and council. So at this point, uh, roll call, please. Mayor Thomas. Here. Mrs. Passy here. Mr. Mary. Here. Mr. Robinson. Here. Mr. Yeah, this is Kelly. Here. Mr. Powell. Here. Mr. Law. No, here. Mr. Postakis. Oh, okay. Mr. Uh, this should be Mr. Bach. Mr. Bach. Here. And Ms. Strebin. Yes. Okay. Public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office on January 5th, 2023, and two emailed to the retrospective current post on January 5th, 2023. The clerk did want, to want me to remind everyone in the audience and everyone here that our July meeting will happen on July 11th because our normal meeting falls on the 4th of July. So we pushed it back a week so we don't have a conflict with the court, planning board, and all the other activities that happen in here. So if everyone makes a note of that, July, July 11th at 7 p.m. Uh, first order of business is approval of minutes. A motion is in order for the approval of minutes of the April 25th and May 2nd meeting submitted by the clerk. Each member receive copies of the same. Would someone like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Lobbenstein. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is passed. At this time, I'm going to swear in our youth mayor and council. Right, come on and stand up. Stand up in front of your, your names. And then I will turn the gavel over to the mayor. Okay. I've embraced technology, guys. I had to All right, so please raise your right hand. And repeat after me. So I'm going to say I, and then your name. So just so it's the name. And at the end, you just need positions of your council woman or council men and mayor. Okay? So I. I. Captain Sage. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. And partially. And partially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Councilman or mayor. Say councilman or mayor. Councilman. Yes. Very good. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governance established. And to the governance established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. And then there, what I'd like you to do is call the meeting to order again, and then read the proclamation, and then start your committee report. I once again call this meeting to order. I'll now read the, pro the proclamation. Is the microphone working? Yeah, there's a microphone right there. Uh, where is? Hello. Hold it. You get the bag of gavel too, so bang the gavel. Yeah, it's my gavel. <laughs> <laughs> where is today? We are privileged to have with us a group of dedicated young people, us, and whereas these young people have shown sincere interest and diligence in participating in the Youth Mayor and Council of the Borough of Runnymede, and whereas. Their dedication has been met with success in being elected or appointed to the aforementioned positions, and whereas they have been given their time and energies to participate in our process, and whereas the borough, the borough council of the borough of Runnymede, County of Camden, State of New Jersey recognizes the great need for this kind of interest, 
belief and participation in our political system on the part of all of its citizens. Now therefore, I, Jesse Schletterer, Youth Mayor, Youth Mayor of the Borough of Runnymede, do hereby proclaim that on June 7, 2023, be designated as Youth Day in the Borough of Runnymede and commend these young people, us again, for their interest and enthusiasm in the governmental progress. It witnessed whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the borough of Runby to be affixated thereto. Very good. Very good. The microphone keep going up. And it's 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 not working. It's fine. I'll just forget. I forget. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming and supporting all of us here. So we should get on to our reports. Firstly, we have Kathleen Bates, the director of finance. Would you please give your report? Thank you, Ms. Mayor. I would like to start off by acknowledging my duties as director of finance. My top priority is to keep taxes low for all residents of Rome. Not only this, but I am also obligated to invest in our infrastructure our employees and our green and sustainable equipment and programs. While doing all of this, I'm required to keep our debt at an acceptable level. With this in mind, I will now state my report. To start, we are in our third payroll processing period with our new platform and all is moving forward. Not only this, but our 2023 budget was imported into our FAST system. Our preparation for our official statement regarding our bond anticipation note sale is ready and we will have more information at our next council meeting. Opposingly, big, bid details should be available at this council meeting. Shelley, our CFO, will fill us in. The rest is in progress. The Public Safety Report for May is as follows for the Police Department. Call 1,072 calls for service, 292 traffic summonses, 53 arrests. 53 arrests. The chief personally wanted me to stress that policemen work eight hours overtime. Now on to the fire division report for the month of May 2023. We had 45 calls for service, 106 man hours, and a 7.1 minute response time. Training was held by the Beaverbrook Alliance and hosted by the Runnymede Fire Company at the Department of Public Works enhancing extrication and stabilization skills using logistic scenarios. The fire company took delivery of the extricator, extra, extractor and dryer from the Leary Grant in May and both are now in service. And now the emergency medical services report for the month of May 2023. We had 62 incidents in Merlin Eats, 82 incidents and Barrington, and in total 144 incidents in May. Now following the fire marshal report for the month of May 2023. We're gonna find a good microphone, it'll take some time. We had 47 inspections completed, one fire lane violation, and two fire investigations. Lastly, we go on to the property maintenance report for the month of May 2023. We had 79 complaints, 68 reinspections, 35 co-inspections, and zero court summons issued. That completes the report of the Director of Public Safety for the month of May 2023. Great. Thank you, Timur, for your report. I would like to hand it over to our Director of Public Events, Olivia Jump. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. As public events director, I organize events, activities, and negotiate with others in order to ensure we all work together effectively. I am given a budget to coordinate my events wisely and communicate with all department heads. My year of events starts with our reorganization, the swearing in of our newly elected officials to the mayor selecting our department heads. Other events include the Easter Parade, Memorial Day, YMC, 
Fourth of July Parade, as well as Baby and Bicycle Parade, any concerts, shredding events, town-wide yard sales, annual Halloween party, along with the annual Christmas Parade. On Monday, May 29th, our Memorial Day service was the perfect day for a pres presentation by Bob Del Sor yeah. Sordo of a beautiful plaque dedicated to our veterans who served in Korea. On June 10th, there will be a shredding event from 10 to 12 noon in the back parking lot of the Borough Hall. The July 4th Bicycle and Baby Parade and contest will begin at 9.30 a.m. inside the Harry Williams Building, Rain or Shine. The main parade will begin at, uh, at 1 p.m. Lastly, Flag Day will be celebrated on Monday, June 12th at, at 6 p.m. at the VFW Post 3324. The rest is in progress. Thank you, Olivia. Now I'd like to pass it over oh. to Riz Ron Lashid, uh, Director of Engineering. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Firstly, the RYAA RY baseball field improvements. The RYAA has been granted $77,000 for the improvements. Secondly, the 2022 CDPG reconstruction of First and Second Avenue. The design is completed and they are finalizing the bid documents. It went out for bid Friday, June 2nd. Thirdly, reconstruction of Harding Avenue and Payne Avenue. The design for the reconstruction has commenced. Fourthly, reconstruction of Manor Court and Bowers Ave. The punch list is completed and we are processing the closeout. Lastly, reconstruction of Forest Ave. The punch list is completed. Thank you, Rizwan. Now I will give this over to our Director of Public Works, Eliana. The Runway Department of Public Works is a multifaceted organization, from everything to mowing to assisting in public events. The jobs that are included are recycle pickup, overseas trash collection, street sweeping, street sign replacements, painting of street markings and curves, pothole repairs, bar properties, grass cutting, bar tree maintenance, weed control, fertilizing, snow plowing, treating roads for storms, catch basin, cleaning, catch basin repairs, stormwater repairs and cleaning, litter patrol, dead animal removal from roads, vehicle maintenance, sprinkler maintenance, flower planting, banner maintenance, building maintenance, janitorial cleaning of borough properties, inspections, record keeping, carpentry, electrical, sewer maintenance, including numerous, numerous pump stations, road closures, decorations, and many more. The sewer department is a part of public works which handles plugged up sewer lines from curb to, to the street, sewer main cleanings, sewer line repairs, record keeping, and mark out utility lines. Through the years of the pandemic, public works has maintained their schedule and has not missed picking up trash or re recycles of yard waste. They should be commended. Sincerely, Eliana Malia, Youth Council Public Works Director. Thank you, Eliana. I would like to pass it over now to Gabriel Chase, Director of Parks and Recreation. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. Good evening, Mayor and Council, and everybody in attendance. Mr. Superior wanted me to let you know he apologized for his absence tonight, but his daughter has a award ceremony for Trey in high school. Firstly, Public Works is continuing to keep the baseball and softball fields in good shape. The following park dog, dog park continues to be maintained. RYAA Summer Basketball League starts up in a couple weeks. Rummy Girls Softball RYAA Baseball teams are finishing up their regular season and will be starting playoffs within the next few weeks. The rest is in process. Thank you and have a good night. Another thank you again for our council members and all of those who came and I would like to pass it back over to them so they can get, take care of the important stuff. <laughs> That's 
great job. Oh, she's amazing. Good. So, down the back to me. Okay, so we just have a little bit of business and then we'll, we'll, we'll finish up at the end. So we're going to ask everybody to stay a little bit while we, we finish up. been a recommendation that we do all the resolutions tied together. So I'll just read them off. So, so with everyone in the audience, what we do is resolutions basically are uh, the business of the borough. And they're not laws, but they are us passing uh, purchases, different events, and different, uh, I don't even know what they are. Action action. 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 There you go. So here we go. Resolution 2363 is a resolution supporting adoption of a strong anti item policy. Resolution 2364 is a resolution authorizing the purchase of a vehicle for one dollar from the borough of Belmont. I think that's for the police department, correct? No, that is a uh, bucket truck. Oh, the bucket truck. Yeah. It's currently not working. We're going to fix it. Okay. It's a bucket truck. Um, resolution 2365 is a resolution granting 2023-2024 liquor licenses. So all the, all the uh, liquor establishments in town do have to get a license from the borough. Oh. Resolution 2366 is a resolution requesting approval of items of revenue and appropriations. The recreation grant. That was the money that the state gave us, the 77000 that is going to be inserted in our budget. Uh, resolution 2367 is a resolution requesting approval of items of revenue and appropriation. This is clean communities. This was the $19,000 for that. Resolution 2368 is a resolution authorizing property maintenance leads. If you don't cut your grass, we will cut your grass and then send you a very high bill. So we tell everybody to do that. Resolution 2369 is a resolution approving low bid for reconstruction of First Avenue and awarding contract to Earl Asphalt Company of Farmingdale, New Jersey. I think the low bid came in at $186,000. Is that what that was? Resolution 2370 is a resolution authorizing an agreement pursuant to the Memorandum of Understanding executed by the Department of Public Works. So the, public part, the Department of Public Works has agreed to the uh, changes to the contract. We've agreed to the changes to the contract. So this is just the uh, council uh, authorizing me to sign the contract once it is put together. And then resolution 2372 is a resolution authorize, authorizing facade improvement grants. We have two businesses that have now been eligible. So you yeah. want to I missed one? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Resolution 2371 is a resolution confirming 2023 appointments. These are for two uh, seasonal, uh, part-time seasonal, Public Works employees, and that is important on the resolution that they say part-time seasonal, or they say these are full-time appointments, but these are seasonal employees. So the resolution has to say seasonal, but it's a seasonal. Temporary six-month labor. We want to add, may, may add the word seasonal. Well, temporary six-month labor. Yeah. Add the word seasonal. seasonal. Add the word seasonal. The reason is, for those of you in the audience, is, is that we follow rules, and if someone is a part-time employee, they are subject to different rules than someone who is a seasonal or temporary employee. And so we don't want to break any rules. Not that these individuals may not be entitled to maybe a full-time job, but they have to follow the part-time rules until they are done that. And the reason I know this is we're in the middle of a public works contract, yeah. and so their salaries were also given, is that correct, for the part-timers? No, 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 not in the contract, on the resolution. Their salaries are on the resolution. Yeah. I didn't read it. Okay. And then resolution 2372 is a resolution authorizing the facade improvement grants. Those are for the two businesses, the Black Horse Tattoo that painted their building and did some improvements there, and the Hair Hut will also be doing improvements to their building. So, and, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, There's one other thing that you missed. Okay, I'll get back to it. Okay. You stop me again. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone understands that the borough, through some of the money that was given to us from the federal government, tried to give this money back to businesses to help improve the Black Horse Pike and other businesses in town. Which one did I miss? At the very beginning, it's authorization for me to sign the uh, New Jersey State Fireman's Association okay. application for those two people. Okay, I'll add that. So the, the request is we have uh, volunteer firemen that we are uh, authorizing their application into the New Jersey State Fireman's Association 
Edward Eilstein and Samuel Funches. Uh, would someone like to make a motion for resolutions 2363 to 2372? I'll make that motion. I second it. Motion by Mr. Lothenstein, second by Mr. Farrell. Roll call, please. Mm -hmm. I'll add it afterwards then. Oh, yeah, the new one is there. Okay. That was the uh, Adam one again. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Fascia. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Uh, Mr. Robinson. Yes. And Mr. Ranieri. Yes. All right, the resolutions are adopted. We did have a walk on, uh, so once again, if something has to get done, we only meet twice a month. <laughs> So we do try to get things done. So this is resolution 2373 is a resolution of the uh, resolution of the mayor and council of the borough of Runnymede authorizing the submission of a strategic plan for the municipal alliance grant for fiscal year 2024. They are awarding us seven thousand dollars. We're matching 1750 with 5250 in kind. Would someone like their motion to approve this resolution? I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second to approve. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Mr. Ranieri. Roll call, please. Kelly and Mary. Yeah. Mrs. Kelly jumped right in. Mrs. Fassie. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Lobbenstein. Yes. And Mr. Mary. Yes. All right. All right. That resolution is adopted. Um, so now we get to the laws. So we had first reading tonight on Ordinance 2305, which is an ordinance repealing Chapter 230, Section 17 of the of the Carter Code. This is repealing the time the time limit on planning and zoning permit. Uh, okay, so right now we have a limit if someone comes in front of our planning board and gets approved. We are eliminating that and following the state statute. So Runmead is not imposing an additional um, timeline on that. And we found that it was a little onerous on some of the applicants. They couldn't get the work started by the time we did. So uh, would someone like to make a motion? I'll, I'll make a motion to adopt on first reading and advertise according to law for a public hearing to be held on the 11th day of July 2023 at a meeting beginning at 7 p.m. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Motion by Mr. Lamenstein, second by Mr. Ranieri. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lamenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. And Mr. Ranieri. Yes. So that is not adopted until after the public hearing on the 11th. So uh, Ordinance 2306 uh, is an ordinance amending Chapter 50 of the Code of the Borough of Runnymede entitled Police Department. This is authorizing the police department to use a third party vendor uh, to um, uh, help schedule and collect fees for uh, traffic and outside employment activities. Would someone like to make a motion for that? I'll make that motion to adopt on first reading and advertise according to law for a public hearing to be held on the 11th day of July, 2023, at a meeting beginning at 7 p.m. Thank you, is there a second? I'll second that motion. I right, motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Robinson. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Yes. All right, we have one more ordinance, ordinance 2307. is an ordinance amending chapter 395 of the Code of the Borough of Bonnaby entitled Zoning. This is the one that uh, changes the uh, dimensions of a garage to square footage of a garage. So as the zoning officer had asked, I don't know if you were there, Steve, the concern was that the ordinance was very specific. You could build a 20 by 20 garage, where now we're saying you could build a 400 square foot garage. So if it's 18 by 22 or some deep, uh, uh, yeah, any kind of deviation from that. So, would someone like to make a motion on this one? Motion to adopt on first reading and advertise according to law for public hearing to be held on the 11th day of July 2023 at the meeting beginning at 7 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Farrell. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Lobenstein. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Okay. Um, now we have payment of bills. Would someone like to make a motion to pay the monthly, monthly bills? I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Right, motion by Mr. Lobenstein, second by Mrs. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Oh, yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we have the good and well for a portion of the, of the meeting. This is an opportunity for anyone to come up and speak. Uh, you could say nice things about the kids. You could say, 
bad things about the town, but you can do anything you'd like. Uh, just come to the microphone and state your name, and you don't have to use your address anymore. They've changed the law. You simply have to say the town you're from. So would anyone like to come up and speak? Please. Can we hand him a microphone? Because it doesn't have to be recorded. Good evening. Uh, my name is Anthony Shallis. I'm a resident here in Runnymede. The reason I'm here today is I'm trying to find a resolution to the township property that's located behind my residence. It's currently a small piece of land. But what was the address again? 240 Schubert Ave is where I live. So directly behind my backyard is just, it's a small piece of township property. And right now it's currently completely overgrown and the lantern bugs that were infested in our area killed about five trees back there, and they're not small trees. So I'm more so worried about these trees falling down into my property, whether or not my kids are outside or... Are you willing to take over this property? Is that what you're suggesting? I am, and I will clear it out if that's... Did you send me an email about this? I did. Okay, I apologize. That's okay. Uh, I actually had two people ask the same question, <laughs> one on Crescent Avenue yeah. and then Schubert. Um, so the borough policy has been in the past that if we're able to relinquish the property, we will. Um, typically, if there's municipal lien, but this is this is public property. So we just have to go over with our attorneys because both this and Crescent Avenue, uh, we'd have to. And make sure there's no utilities. That's the other thing. Not so, only fire utilities, but any utilities. Yeah. Yeah, so do you know anything back there? No. The only so, thing I can see is it's just overgrown with trees and bushes. Okay. And so what we would do, you have to be aware of this, and we have done this before is if we gave you the property, you then it would incorporate into your lot and become part of your block and lot. So uh, we typically would would cover the cost for a new deed, but then you would then pay any additional taxes on it. So now a little piece of land that can't be built on is that's not going to be uh, But that would be what it would, what it would the big change, correct? That would be about the pit? So yeah, right. for a dollar? No, no, no. Typically, it's, the assessor puts a value on it. And so for example, the house on Crescent Avenue, it's public information. If you go on the website, you can see that Thoreau owns a piece of land there. It's an odd piece of land. It's assessed at $31,000. So typically... If it's vacated, you have to offer it to the adjacent property owners in equal amounts. And it all depends, and I'm not familiar with this property, so we can look at that. But um, if the adjacent property owners... Don't want it. They don't want it, then whoever the remaining property owners that do want the property, the, the town can vacate it. So that's another way we could just give it to you yeah. if it's not of any value. But what, what the engineer is saying is is that the other property owners also have rights. Yeah. So if you went to your neighbors and said, do you guys care about this? They don't. Then they would just say they don't want it and then we would do it. Thing, We've done that also. Where yeah. The biggest thing there is we should look at it with public works director and our website to make sure there's no utilities in the lots. And the reason the engineer is saying that is we have a situation right now where there's a stormwater line that goes underneath someone's addition on their house. They build over top of it, and the stormwater line is broken right now. So we want to protect those things. But no, I, I will get to your email, and I'll shoot that back to you, and we'll do our due diligence. But if I don't, send me another email and keep harassing me until you're inside. You're the first house next to train. Yeah, right, right, right. Next to train. Okay. Yeah, so it's trains on one side. Yeah, so train's not going to want it, so that's not going to be a problem. You have a, is there a neighbor on the back side of a pine? I think there is one next to it, it looks like a split home. Okay, we can work that out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See that, it was a real meeting. Anyone else want to come up and speak? Yes. Excuse me. Sure. Hi, Margaret Harrington from Romney. We spoke at the previous meeting about bamboo on a yes. property adjacent to mine and Maureen from Camden uh, County had sent an ordinance from Barrington about bamboo. Yes. And I believe it was forwarded. Yes. Okay. Is, any, is there anything being done about that? Well, I did receive them from Maureen, and the process again would be the council would have to take it up, and then we would do a first reading and stuff like that. We're definitely interested in it. And just for your own information, I actually tore some bamboo up this past weekend, so I understand how difficult it is. Um, and I understand how evasive it is. Oh, I, I had my own backhoe and I, I dug and, and saw how bad it was. Um, but uh, council has definitely, it's something we're definitely considering because we see how it is a problem. Um, do you understand what we're, we're, we're having these issues? And it, one person plans it and it goes on someone else's property. So the ordinance, if I recall what Maureen sent over, basically says that they're responsible to keep it on their, their
their property and, and, and things like that. Yes, and you can't go on anyone else's property. Yeah, it's so they have to. It's underground, so yes. you don't know if you're going to get it. You're not having a really good friend. Yes, and so we're definitely going to continue to talk about it. You saw we did three tonight. They take some time to get done, but we're yeah. definitely on that and too. Marie was so helpful. She's very nice. She's excellent. Thank Great. you. Great. So Thank you. Oh, Mr. Box. Yeah, we got the most expensive. Uh, <laughs> Anyone else know the parents? Okay, so now I'm going to turn this meeting over to Ms. Passio, who we'll put this evening together. Oh, what's the public? Okay, a motion to close the bubble portion. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Lomstein, and second by Mr. Ranieri. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public portion is closed. I'm going to turn the meeting over to Ms. Passio. Okay, I want to welcome everyone and. Um, such a good group of kids, I must say, and uh, you are our future, and it makes me proud. It makes me proud to be a part of this. I hope you're proud to be a part of it, too. Um, with this, um, I want to present to you uh, your plaques, okay? Um, you're receiving plaques, and also uh, Mayor and Council is giving you a, a gift card. And I hope you enjoy your cupcakes. If you don't like the cupcake, you can switch, you can trade it off. I'm sure one of, our, one, one of our council <laughs> would love to get his teeth and chili. Um, also, there's a tray for people who open them up, so your parents or whoever can enjoy it. Um, is there anything that you want to ask any one of us? Read the plaque, though, Patty. Oh, okay, I will read the plaque. Thank you, Mayor. Why don't you read it? <laughs> I can totally get up here and read it. <laughs> okay, it says, Borough of Runnymede, Mayor and Council Award 2023 presented to uh, Ilya. Malia? No. Eliana Nur Malia. In recognition of your participation and outstanding service as Youth Week Public Works Director, uh, Mayor Nick Capaz, June 7, 2023. All of them have the same plaque with their names on it. Um, Jesse, I'm sorry that it's your dad's name, Jess. So she is going to present that to her father. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to take that. <laughs> is he here? No. Oh, wait, okay, because it's a surprise. All right, and um, and I'm really sorry. Who else has their name spelled? It's supposed to be a B. I can take that back. Okay? All right, let, let me have that. This way I'll take that back for you. I'm going to put a, a B in there. Um, I don't think I have to read everybody else's, no. do I? Thank you. Okay. okay. They're beautiful. So nice uh, they are very pretty, very, yeah. very much. You like them? Will they be hung up in 25 years or still be on your wall? <laughs> Um, uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, tonight. Um, usually we take the kids out for a whole week, but because of the pandemic and things, we've changed it up a little bit. And uh, our kids didn't get $50 before either, but you, you guys did. So enjoy it. Um, also, uh, I volunteerism is really, really important. So I'm going to count on you for the rest of the year. And you heard Olivia with all the her public events that we're having. So you will be called upon by Mrs. Kelly, by Councilwoman Kelly. She will call upon you for every event and hope that you'll come out and volunteer yourselves. Uh, on the 4th of July, if you're in town, I hope that you are, you will, you will meet at Gardner's parking lot at 1230. And we will walk down the street all together. And you can wait until your family and friends. Okay? Uh, then we do have... Um, something at the end of the parade and you can all sit around with myself and John and council and then you can have a few words on um, the microphone if you want and kind of play around at the end. So um, enjoy yourselves, have a great summer. Uh, you're going to all go into high school. Say, uh, Triton? Great. Okay. I am a uh, 19 blah, 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 graduate of Triton. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so, love school. All right, have a good time. And with that, anybody else want to say anything, Council? No, thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Then before we close, I also want to thank uh, the Youth Mayor and Council. I do want to really thank the Youth Mayor. She did a good job. I think you've got a lot of ability up there. Uh, it sounded like me up there, so I like the way you took control of it. You did a great job. Okay, and we'll hopefully see it the 4th of July. If we get to walk to the front of the parade, right behind the veterans is, is our is council and, and youth council. And we get to do it. So show up on the 4th of July. Okay? And
this point, I entertain a, a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll move that motion. All right, motion by Mr. Robinson. I'll second. Second by Mr. O'Neary. All in favor? Aye. All right, we are adjourned at uh, 7.35. Okay. Thank you.